Well, I saw the Facebook post about them doing this this activity, the Homeless for a Day Challenge, and I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. That's a, a creative way of kind of like making the community aware of uh, the responsibility and the role that interfaith plays within uh, Wichita. And I then started the process of figuring out how to get registered, and, and that's why I'm here, because I, I said I've got to get engaged at some point. I've got to do something other than just say, hey, that's a pretty cool event. I want to actually be a part of it. I hope to gain just a little bit of perspective through uh, the conversations, the interactions, of what it's like to be homeless. What are some common barriers that are kind of like secrets, uh, as far as from my perspective, that I wouldn't know, things that I wouldn't be aware of? Well, did I get a chance to see further what it means to be homeless in Wichita and what, what great organizations we have like Interfaith out there to help and uh, really see people move forward in their life. Uh, I'm excited about learning more about that. It's the entire community that's supporting one another, that we're all neighbors, and coming together to um, just really help out people that might need a helping hand is important. Vic got a job, started work a couple weeks ago, and nice. we're looking at an apartment here pretty soon. Fantastic. So I mean, I've gone from, from the bottom, I mean, I feel like, to getting somewhere in life. All I'm looking forward is to be able to have a job and be able to get, be able to get into housing and have something to look for, to go home to, you know, have a place to call mine, some of the things to call mine. And she was my protector. I felt safe with her. I love it where I'm at because I'm independent. I feel good knowing I'm paying my own. Every day I thank God for it and everything. I thank God for where I'm at.